around. I want it to be so soft and the the spray water is to totally dry out only it's spray water, right? Yes. If, if it's still wet, we don't need to spray it. If you want uh, to have the wet milk, then we need to spray water. Oh, okay. Thank you. And we don't spray too much. Okay, just enough for you to touch up. Okay. okay. So, uh, because the big flower is our focus, then that is the, the main, main focus. So the small flower is just like uh, accompany the big one. So it, it won't be too too detailed. Okay. Okay, this one also I spray some water because I want to make all this stem and the leaf. So I spray water first, only I add the color, okay? So uh, here uh, because the color is quite thick in the in the background, so we have to use even more concentrated color to do the stem and the Okay. Step, okay. So you can see this is painting using negative space concept. Okay, negative space, okay. And the bug here, okay. So uh you have some area you can use the negative concept of the background because the background itself is quite solid and thick. Okay. So if you keep painting a very uh, a, a, a thick color, if you make your whole painting look uh, not transparent, but the color all go very thick, then uh, it will not be nice for watercolor. Okay? So it's, you can spray water okay, anytime you want. If you think your paper dry up, and then, but you still want to have the red book. Okay? So uh, this one just want to make this uh, leaf okay, more well organized so that the background will not be too loose. Okay? Because we have most of the background area is very loose shape, loose form. So here front I add some stroke, okay? add some stroke to, to give this part uh, nothing to see, okay? nothing to see. Okay? Okay, here just add some color, okay? minimum color. And here, the, here I put some yellow okay, to highlight okay. Then we, we add some stroke to, to make some of the leaves uh, have more solid shape. Okay. This is the one game. Okay? So one here. 